Hey y'all, welcome back to Prime the Truth. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to share my homemade taco seasoning recipe with you. And I'm also going to tell you the reasons why I quit buying these packages right here that are really handy to pick up. Now, they're not real expensive. They're still cheap to stock up into your prepper pantry. But I'm going to show you a cheaper way to do it and a healthier way to do it. So let me show you something right here. All right, this right here is the back of the package with the ingredients list. And majority of these ingredients, you would never actually think to put in your taco seasoning because there's no reason for it to be in there. It's mainly just a filler to make you think you're getting more for your money, like yellow corn flour or corn starch or an anti-caking agent, wheat starch or soy flour. You do not need any of those in your taco seasoning now let me show you what i put in mine all right you can see right here this is my pint size mason jar that i used to store it in it's almost out so it is time to refill it and i thought while i've got everything setting out on the counter i'm going to show you what i put in mine and give you the recipe now the recipe that i'm going to share with you is enough to do for my family two servings and we're a family of four and the thing about this is you can just season it to your liking if you want less taco seasoning or you want more taco seasoning because you're just going to be getting it out as you want it. So I'm going to show you the recipe and the quantities of each thing that I use. And then if you want to make a bigger batch, you can just do that. Let me show you what I got. All right, here you go. On the right here, I have chili lime seasoning blend. It calls for one tablespoon of chili powder. But if you don't have plain chili powder and you have something that has it in it, like this right here, you can use it. This tastes really good in it and it does not alter the flavor. So if you have that, use that. But if not, it calls for one tablespoon of chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of sea salt, but I use Himalayan pink salt. It's fine. It's no difference in it one teaspoon of ground black pepper, a half a teaspoon of paprika ground, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, and a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, and a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, but I just use the ground cayenne pepper. Just mix that all together, put it into your mason jar, seal it up. Now, I'm sure if you wanted to vacuum seal this into smaller packages, you could probably do that also. But this right here has awesome flavoring. It tastes just as good to me as the taco seasoning packages that you purchase. It is cheaper in the long run once you start doing it and you have all these bottles of stuff at home. And you also don't have any of the added fillers that you don't have to have in there. So I hope y'all enjoy this recipe too. Let me know in the comments down below if you make yours and what ingredients you use and how you like homemade versus store-bought. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.